Good day, good afternoon, good whenever it is you are watching this. Thank you very much for watching this. You are checking out yet another woke and baked film review. Not really a film review, kind of a show review of the first two episodes of the new Obi-Wan series. It's currently streaming on Disney+. Plus. Now, I'm going to go to the real quick Wikipedia breakdown so that you can get the cool, like, semi-quasi-official summary. All right. Obi-Wan Kenobi is an American television miniseries created for the streaming service Disney+. Plus. It is part of the Star Wars franchise beginning 10 years after the episodes of Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. And stars Ewan McGregor as the title character reprising his role from the uh, Star Wars prequel trilogy. It's, it sounds really weird to say because it comes so far and yeah, it's, the, it's the very beginning, but it came later. And it 2005, now it's 2022, and this takes place 10 years after the events of a film that came out in 2005. All right, wrap your head around that. Okay, doesn't matter. Ewan McGregor is returning as Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I'll tell you, I'm very, very excited about this. Now, I heard that this was originally supposed to be a film, and the reason it wasn't a film was because the 2018 film Solo, A Star Wars Story, tanked. Now, let me say, I thought that should have been a series as well. Right, I enjoyed the film. I thought it would have been a much greater series. And I think that people probably would have gotten to enjoy the character if it had been serialized. But that's neither here nor there. They decided to go with the series and tell the elongated story rather than a two-hour wrap-up. Great idea, by the way. Let me say that I like this series and I like the way that it's going. And as a fan, you know the way that it's going because you saw how it plays out. It's like it's like watching Titanic. Like, you know how the film ends, but you're going to watch it anyway because there's so many cool little stories involved. And this has some very cool little stories involved. Now, for example, you, you get to meet young Leia. You don't, I mean, we haven't really gotten to meet young Luke yet, and I'm assuming that we probably won't because we know how that goes. But spoiler alert for everyone out there, there's a crew out there that are hunting the Jedi that didn't get away. Because you have to remember, not everyone got murked by Order 66. All right? And the uh, Inquisitors were sent to go search and find these Jedi and either interrogate them, dump them off, do something with them that I'm sure sucks. Because... You know, like, if you know anything about history, the Inquisition, bad stuff happened, all right? Really bad, really bad shit happened. And bad shit was going to happen. Now, we get introduced so, to some very, very cool characters. Uh, Third Sister right now is probably my favorite character, and maybe we'll get into her later on down the road. But she is a new character, and I am, I am a fan. She's a she's a bad lady, and you'll see why really in episode two. But you get to see her, and you get to meet her in episode one. You get to see her ambition and her drive uh, to sort of become a bad mother lover. All right, I don't even know if she likes her mom. She probably hates her mom. I'm sure she hates her mom. But they get into who they are, um, who the Grand Inquisitors are, and their background. Uh, and I think that that's important. I think that you, by the way, Grand Inquisitor is a dude. The Inquisitors, uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're someone else completely. All right, that's, the Grand Inquisitor is a dude, his crew, uh, yeah, they are the Inquisitors. Anyway, um, sounds like a cool band. Like, I, I don't know, I wonder, wonder what they would play. Like, I wonder... The Grand Inquisitor probably sounds like the lead singer, and the Third Sister sounds like a drummer or a bassist. It doesn't sound like a guitarist, but I don't know. Who am I to say? Maybe the Third si uh, Third Sister is uh, is a lead guitarist. I don't know. I don't know. But Fifth Brother sounds like he doesn't matter. Just saying. All right. The show itself, first episode, watch it. 
watch it. People that are going to be upset about things are going to be upset about anything, all right? And they're probably going to be uh, generally unhappy people. But as a guy who enjoys Star Wars, who didn't like the last three of the Star Wars saga, I got to be honest and upfront, I do like this. I also didn't hate uh, Boba Fett. In fact, I thought Boba Fett was, was kind of cool. I, I expected that story from Boba Fett. I didn't necessarily expect an origin story. I wanted an origin story. I think most of us wanted an origin story. But for what we got, I'm not upset about that. In fact, if you were a fan of Boba Fett, there are going to be some uh, Easter eggs in episode two that you're going to really, really enjoy. But um, I want to say that the first episode of the show does a very good job of introducing you to characters you're going to get to know later on. You get to meet young Leia, which is cool. Uh, you get to kind of see Anakin from a distance. Uh, you know, And they brought back the people that mattered from the first series. And I, I think that that was important. Jimmy Smits is back. Joel Egerton, Bonnie P.S. P.S.A. I don't know. I'm I don't know her name. And but Hayden Christensen. That's the big news. Aside from uh, bringing back Ewan McGregor, Hayden Christensen is really really the big news. So we'll talk a little bit more about episode two a little bit later on. But that's kind of the synopsis of the first episode and kind of of the show and where the show is going. You know how it ends, just enjoy the ride.